Look at this guy attacking Zephyrica Hotshot and, Zef and Levanica. At the same time, him alone. There's Wardens, there's Pets, there's Insignias, there's Talents. And he's just surviving. I think, I think this is actually a good legend. This is not a bad legend, guys. Now let's get some more legends in there attacking Jumbear. What's going on guys? It is your boy Angry SA Gamer and I'm proud to present to you Jumbear. <laughs> I don't know if I Jumbear? It sounds weird, it doesn't sound like an actual thing. Jumbear. Sounds like someone that's struggling to pronounce a word visiting Paris or something. I don't know what I'm saying. But Jumbear is here. Ja Jambear? Jumbear? It's a stupid name, IGG. Honestly, it is a really stupid name, but here he is. Okay, so we have Teletan Flame God on him. When I tested him, he did destroy PD and Ripper, but that could be the Flame God. But his, 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 his damage, his skill, it's like Lil Nick's skill. But it's, it's insane. He's a sniper. It's a bear that can snipe. Now, let me show you what it looks like. This is him at the moment. It's still undecided with this, but x -Rip, this is my boy x account, by the way, but x feels that this is a pretty good insignia. Reduces damage taken by 58% when attacked. Silences two random nearby enemy heroes for four seconds. Cooldown seven seconds. So, it's three seconds, actually. Uh, Forest Ward has a 40% chance to remove all conditions and restore 45% of HP when attacked. Cooldown eight seconds. Traits, we have full dodge, accuracy, and HP. So I'm going to take him into my base real quick so he can uh, destroy the PD once again. Now, taking on a PD is not impressive, but that's not the point of this match now, is it? This point is... um, Why did Zephyrica not attack him, though? Don't I not? I, I don't have Empowered on Zephyrica for some reason. Oh, well. Okay, so PD is about to die, but that is understandable. Cosmo is killing himself. With the flame god. Let's see his attack on Cosmo. He's gonna hit all my legends, by the way, because I don't have troops in this. It's pretty decent. Now, Ripper is out. He is dead. But let's see the amount of damage he does to Occultus every now and again. Occultus is damaging himself. 10,000, 19,000. The Flame God is doing good work. That was 140,000 hit over there. He's still alive. I don't know who he's fighting at the moment. He's fighting nobody. He's fighting my base. Um, he's going to make his way to Cosmo. He's still surviving this. I should probably get empowered on Zephyrica. He's being silenced. If I have empowered on Zephyrica, I would actually see with along with Cultus and see what type of damage he can withstand. Let's do that real quick. Let's uh let me just get this soft because I feel like in battle it's loud. But it was not in battle, it's not that loud. Okay, in my base I now have every single legend except Zephyr uh, except Levanica with empowered. Now I did replace PD with Hotshot. Hotshot has 10 at 10 flame god with nine sacred light. Hotshot taking the Mm, highest percentage damage upon proc right there. I'm sorry about this. Okay, sorry about that. Um, let's go back in. Okay, Hotshot versus this guy, but we also have Sephirica with Empowered. Occultus with Empowered. Cosmo with Empowered. And Ripper with Empowered. And everybody is beating on him right now. Now, remember, most of these guys has Flame God. And he seems to withstand this. I mean, that is pretty, pretty amazing. But the thing is, as soon as he's hit by this totem, he keeps moving. I, I The part you didn't see while I was on the phone call is he died to the totem. He was frozen and he died. But now he keeps on going. I mean, for a legend that can withstand the attack that is on him right now, the, the Sephirica... The Occultist, the Flame God, the Ripper, 
And Cosmo, constantly having a dome on him, dealing damage. He, he just went down. I mean, that is that is pretty decent. That is not bad at all. That is honestly not bad. So let's go into a different base real quick. I will be... I will be doing... Um, let's see if Malakrox... Malakrox is in BS right now, so he has to have defense on. So let's see what happens. He doesn't have flame um, empowered on Zephyrica. He's got Trentor out. Oh, this is his, uh, dungeon, uh, his raid team. Doesn't matter. Trentor is silence. I just want to see if he can withstand this base. I mean, just for him to go into a base like this and survive that long, especially going up against my beast breakthrough three legends yes they are um and he lost basically a minute it's not bad everybody has been saying this new legend is new so he must be crap i'm thinking otherwise i'm thinking i'm gonna do i'm gonna get him on my account and i'm gonna use him there is troops so this might be a bit slow He's not fighting Trentor at all. He's fighting the troops. So it would be a bit of a struggle. There we have the Sephirica attacking him right now. He's fighting Trentor. Can he kill Trentor? He managed... Trentor... Okay, so he won't be able to because Trentor doesn't have that much of an attack. So he's not going to kill himself. And he's not built to kill. He's built to withstand attack. Especially with Flame God and... Um, what the f let's go up against this guy first we're gonna keep the pitch we're gonna keep the wardens we're not gonna care about that we want to see if he can survive this so we have all those troops to get through first but it seems like he's doing a pretty good job at surviving i can't see zephyrica's damage meter it's out of range there for us yeah almost done with the troops Let's see what happens. Okay, down with the troops. Hitting him. He's surviving, but it's no surprise because he does have Flame God, so his damage intake is limited. Um, and we're also on our hero base with him, so it gives him an extra defense. He's being, si he's being stunned, actually. Not silenced. He's being stunned there. So he's surviving, okay? Okay, let's see if he can survive it when he's on the attack. Immediately taking damage, but that is the warden. I mean, he's surviving. He healed himself. He doesn't have a healing talent on. Oh, he's got forest ward. Sorry. Um. Forest Ward is keeping him alive. Flame God is, seems to work pretty well. And I mean, I sent him into a base. If that's not enough of, of, of evidence for you that this is actually a good legend and he can be used as a support legend, as a tank, then I don't know what you want. But I think this is pretty decent. So let's see how much attack he can withstand. All right, John Bear, come on, you versus three beast legends. Let's go. He doesn't die on the drop, which is uh, already amazing. He stays alive on the drop. Hotshot is about to go down. Wow. Look at this guy attacking Zephyrica, Hotshot, and, Zef and Levanica. At the same time, him alone. There's wardens, there's pets, there's insignias, there's talents. And he's just surviving. I think I think this is actually a good legend. This is not a bad legend, guys. Now let's get some more legends in there attacking Jumper. All right, now this is the true test of a champion. If you can withstand this, my boy, you are in. You are one of the top legends. Wow, he withstands the initial drop. He ju doesn't just die. That is, and he's dead. That was a bit too much. That was a bit too much. But surviving almost 10 seconds with all these legends, that is pretty insane. Let's go again, but let's go across the map. Let's place him on this side of the map. 
Got Dovekeeper already beating on him. Dovekeeper alone should take him down. Ripper is hitting him. Walla Walla is hitting him. Zephyrica. Oh, Zephyrica doesn't hit him. Okay, but Zephyrica now hits him because he hits Zephyrica. Sorry, my dogs are barking. And he. Wow, he nearly died, but Forest Ward pulled through. And he's dead. That is pretty. Uh, this legend is honestly, I do like him. He's impressive, and I will be grinding out for him. I will be doing this. Let's just have one last look at him. There he is. Uh, we need to get him to skill 14, though. Destiny. What is his destiny? He's almost there. We only have two out of six. But we do have plenty of those. Level up. Nope. That is going to be it for this video, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.